so long. Don't have nobody to call my own. Time is 1800 hours. My fellow engineer, if you know him, then you know. And if you don't, well, you're in luck. We've got Jimmy Slick Scarpone in the galley ready to go. <laughs> now, before we head over to Slick in the galley, it's, it's my distinct pleasure to announce that we've updated our transmission systems. And this is very exciting because I can see in real time who's joined us for this transmission. And we're also able to, uh, how, do I, how do I phrase this? Um, we're able to transmit from above the water down to us below the water and then back to you who also happen to be of the water. Isolation on a submarine is hard on anyone, so if you're feeling froggy, make sure you encourage him and let him know if you're enjoying his expertise in the chat log. So, without any further ado, let's head over to Submarine Isolation's biggest personality, Jimmy Slick Scarpone. Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Good to have you back. <laughs> just been, just been a little lonely the last several <laughs> days, and uh, it's been, uh, it's been, it's been tough, you know. Uh, S Slick, I don't think our friends here need to hear about how lonely hey, you folks, are. Are you ready to drink? I know you're thirsty out there. I sure as heck am. Well, this nutty chichi is uh, made with coconut cream, pineapple, and some nutty macadamia orgeat with the addition of vodka which i admit is a little strange i think in the tiki world we're usually used to drinking rum but tiki isn't about what you put into the cocktails it's a whole way of life it's a way of doing things it comes from within the okolaka hika i believe <laughs> hmm. so let's go ahead and build this cocktail Jeez. which is attributed to my buddy and yours, Don Beach. First of all, we're going to start with our nut syrup. Measure a half an ounce or one tablespoon and put that in your blender. Oh. Put in the blender. But you want me to crush the ice first? Nah. But you're doubling the recipe, right? Because we're just going to have one. Unless you don't want to have one. Absolutely delicious ingredient. And I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce per cocktail. Ah. Oh, that smells good. That smells delightful. I can't tell what one ounce is. This is like three fourths of an ounce. Okay. That's it. And to this. I think I used too I much of the macadamia. It's, not it's all good. Three fourths an ounce of the coconut. Don't come for this, Hank. These are slicks. Rations. Do not touch. Where's the pineapple juice? Of course you did. Well, let's move on to our second cocktail. Take it away, Slick. <laughs> you got it, Hank. Man, that Greta, she's something else, eh? <laughs> 
Well, I'll sure be glad when we dock in the port of Los Angeles and get to uh, hang out with Greta in person. Won't all of you? Yeah, I bet you would, you cads. All right, well, next up I thought we... Don't. ...do something a little bit different. See, I like this nutty chi-chi idea, but I wanted to take it a step further. That's right. Experimentation. So I decided to take some of the oranges that we had last week and repurpose them in a very, very similar cocktail. And I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. Now, for this drink, you're going to need the following ingredients. You're going to need the fresh orange, some of that pineapple juice, some of that cream of coconut, and of course, some spiced rum. Do you want the yellow from our good buddy mesh thing? Sailor Jerry. No, I think we're okay. I don't really have oh, oh, sure. Jerry. If you, if it's if it's washed, I didn't, I didn't think it so was. He it. must be a good guy, and probably an American. And to make the drink, same ingredients, or excuse me, same tools as last time. We're gonna go in our very special blender. And <laughs> your measuring device is pretty much all you're gonna need. Until the end. We're going to do a little nutmeg garnish. Now, if you're lucky enough to actually have an old-timey nutmeg grater, that's fantastic. Me, I like to use something a little bit different. It's a cheese grater. And this will work just beautifully to get some fresh grated nutmeg on top of the cocktail. All right, now, first things first. When you get fresh citrus, you have to wash it ahead of time. So make sure you go to the sink and rinse off your orange before you use it. When we ship these things out, we don't wash them ahead of time because that starts to lower the shelf life. So if you've got your orange, give it a rinse and we're going to cut this buddy in half. That was junk. It's like a tropical paradise. The nutmeg and grate that into there. I'm gonna have this in my very, very special Tiki Man mug. Wow. I'm putting a fresh glass. Look at that, eh? Hey? Let's put in fresh glass. Give it one more. Keep it. Fill it off to the top. Now that's a fresh glass. Now the last step of this operation, before we can enjoy it, very, very special garden. I put some nutmeg on there, kid. Wait. This a little... I think we've made more with this one. Okay. This is a fresh, whole nutmeg from the Caribbean islands. These things are hard to come by. So I keep my little stash in the pillow. It's like, um... You don't take it in a high enough quantity. Eggnog. These have a hallucinogenic effect. <laughs> Although I wouldn't recommend it. But they are lovely as a tiki cocktail garnish. Now I've got my cheese grater here. Maybe you've got one at home. It's a big grater. Or a very, very special nutmeg grater. Oh. Jesus. Wow. Go ahead. Put your fingers in my drink. Go ahead. No. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Yeah, just leave the spoon in there, too. <laughs> I don't want to put that's it nice. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. All right, let's taste it out. There we go. Let me remove my spoon. <laughs> just lick it. Put it in the, in the blender. Mm. You know, two or three of these in a row mm. will heal whatever. I can really smell the nutmeg. So we dubbed this drink the painkiller. Mm. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Uh, Maddie, Maddie Crab would like to know if it's supposed to be foamy. Oh, yes, absolutely. You're going to have <laughs> foam. You're going to have the foam. Is this, is this thing on up here? Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we are. You can see there's there's definitely plenty 
say a foam on the top. That's just the uh, aeration from from the blending process. Everyone, what's that? There's bone char and sugar. I don't know. Why not? Mm. Or so it seems. One life for yourself and one for your dreams. You drift through the I can't see you can finish me a little bit. I know it's certainly made our time aboard the USS Clusterwing more bearable. We'll be transmitting again on May 29th, 1948 at 1800 hours, where we'll be featuring two of Al's favorite cocktails, Trader Vic's El Diablo, and a cocktail that can also describe our buddy Slick, the Suffering Bastard. <laughs> this sounds painful. Hey! The transmission is still on, I can hear you! Okay, after I just ran the entire length of the submarine, to bring you a tasty, delicious treat. You know who would know how, exactly how long the submarine is? Our fabulous and hopefully slightly more sober guest, Greta Garfunkel. Let's see if she's still on the transmission. Greta, can you hear me? Loud and clear, hey, baby! I did this to myself. Hi, Greta. How many feet did Slick run to bring me this tasty treat? The USS Cluster Week is 312 feet in length. That's less than a sixteenth of a mile. Slick, you're either desperately out of shape or you're the greatest actor I've ever seen. Oh, come now, Hankish. We shouldn't shame Slick for his apparent lack of fitness. We should celebrate his brains rather than his brawn. Now, that's so 